Ah, yes, the opening to a James Bond movie. The little circles come in, Bond walks into the gun barrel, points, BANG! Blood dripples down, and immediately you are so ready for the adventure ahead. You always know what to expect from a Bond movie. The beautiful women, the exotic locations, the amazing stunts, the larger-than-life villains, and overall, Bond being the smooth and sophisticated bastard going through the motions of it all. But it all starts right here, the first point where the filmmakers get us on the edge of our seat, the gun barrel. Maurice Binder came up with the opening for the very first Bond film, Dark to Know, released in 1962. He described it as something he came up with in a hurry. He put a tiny pinhole camera inside an actual gun barrel and audiences were introduced to an opening that would live on to become one of the most iconic and recognizable openings in all of cinema. To me, nothing describes the premise of Bond is back more than this iconic opening, which would continue to be used as the opening for every Eon produced Bond movie or at least the first 20. Sometimes the effects would be different, different stands of the actor, a, a different soundtrack, an updating and more digitalized version of the opening, etc. But the premise always remained the same. As soon as those white dots come in, you know what you're watching. Even if you're not a Bond fan, chances are that you at least recognize the gun barrel. It became synonymous with Bond used in its promotional material and even in the logos. We Bond fans all love this opening. In the 21st Bond film Casino Royale, it wasn't used as the first shot of the movie, but as the opening to the titles. It was different and updated, but most of us really liked this different take because at the very least it was still at the start of the film. It also made sense. This story was a reboot and showed the origin of how Bond first became Agent 007. But then came Quantum of Solace. Again, no gun barrel opening at the start. The first time I saw that in the theaters, I was convinced we were still watching the movie trailers. It took me a while to realize the movie had in fact already started. And what do you know, they put the gun barrel at the end of the movie, for no real reason. I can't speak for all Bond fans, but I think the consensus is pretty clear that we dislike that. We wanted this thing to be at the start. They once again did this with Skyfall, which, fair enough, at least had Bond come into the frame at the very first second, so there's no confusion, you're still watching movie trailers or anything. And I do like it better how they use the gun barrel at the end of that movie, as Bond returns to the classic office, a male M returning, handing him out his mission briefing. The gun barrel comes in, and it dissolves into the 50 year anniversary logo. It was better than what they did with it in Quantum, but still, it had been since 2002 that an actual Bond film had opened with a gun barrel. I remember the speculations within the Bond community well after Casino Royale. Was Quantum going to start with a gun barrel now? And when it didn't, speculations were turned on the forums for Skyfall. After being disappointed again, we were once again left hoping they would return it at the start of Spectre. It had been 13 years since any Bond movie even started with a gun barrel at the very first second. I still remember so well going to see Spectre on its premiere, hoping the gun barrel would return at the start and it would go like this. It's funny, when I went to see Spectre on its premiere, I was in a room full of Bond fans who all realized why this was so special. All cheering in joy. I never really experienced something quite like this. I went to see Spectre a few more times in cinema, but with casual fans. 
Obviously, there wasn't any cheering or applauding then. That shows you the difference. We Bond fans realize the significance of the gun barrel. We understand it's part of Bond history. We know that it symbolizes the first warm-up to a unique adventure. A feeling only a Bond movie can give you, because there simply isn't anything quite like it. So, if you're sitting there in the theaters watching No Time To Die, which hopefully starts with a gun barrel as well, and actually has James Bond walk in there, not some other 00 agent, take a moment to realize the significance of this opening, and let that special feeling sink in. That feeling you are about to watch another unique movie, whether it's a good or a bad one, but one that will be part of a series of movies which are able to deliver that special feeling, that Bond is back. So let's all take a moment at the start of this movie to celebrate that.